What's up, YouTube? Just Gav here, bringing guys a brand new video up onto the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, a little topic video, a little, a little topic topic. And today's topic is going to be, should 128 players return in the next Battlefield game? Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Is it the right thing to do? Is it the wrong thing to do? The pros, the cons, and we're just going to kind of go through them. So let's get this out the way. In my opinion... 128 players should not return in the next battlefield. I think it, it's kind of, I wouldn't say gimm uh, gimmicky, uh, unplayable sometimes, depending on the mode, obviously. And downright awful, okay? <laughs> the tick rate, it, it tanks the tick rate. It tanks performance on PC and even on consoles. It's just, I don't think it's good for anybody now there's other cons of course but from just a gameplay standpoint i'm not the biggest it's just it's just it 128 players amplifies everything that's wrong with the game time x times two times three times four because if you if you have a grenade explosive spammy game it amplifies that if you have a vehicle heavy farm game it amplifies that if you have a game that has trouble with serviceability, even at 32, 64, 28, whatever, it amplifies that. So it only compounds problems on top of each other that otherwise, you know, shouldn't be compounding in the first place. And it seems like 64 has been the sweet spot for them. I don't know if they would do something like 80. 80 seems more reasonable. Hell, even 50 versus 50 seems more reasonable than, than 64 versus 64. I think if they did a, an 80 or 100 like mode every once in a while, like just to rotate it into the next game, I'd be cool with that. But to have, to have the main dedicated servers be 128, I think would be a mistake. Especially if you're going to, like, filling them up in the first place, even with the player base, is tough. You know, people play different game modes. People play this. People go into port. You, you know, whatever. Whatever's going to be in the next game whether it's going to be a server browser or it's going to be like we got in 2042 i think the player count itself causes problems and obviously the game the gameplay implications is crazy especially with specialists in this game and if they put specialists in the next game and do 128 they're gonna be they're smoking on that smoking smoking on that good stuff that's all i know you gotta be you gotta be crazy to put it in the next game again could they do 80 could they do 100 they could so, I, I, are there any pros, though? Let me think. I, I'm dunking on it a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'm not dunking on it hard enough, but we're going to... What are some pros? I guess if you want to mastery grind in Rush XL and breakthrough, chaos breakthrough, I guess Matt, it's good for mastery grinding, you know, especially support characters and recon characters. Well, really all characters, but it's good for the meat... The, the people who love the meat grinder feel, feel and don't necessarily have the maps to get it you can just play you know chaos rush xl or you can play a chaos breakthrough and and that kind of gets your meat grindy fix i guess obviously we're redacted in 2042 that's where people get their meat grindy fix but in in the next battlefield game if we don't have a map or maps like that i guess rotating 128 in to get that to you know tick that box to itch that scratch for people would be a would be a positive thing again going for masteries on guns on classes on things you know vehicles i guess and it's good because the farm is large the assist can be large the revives can be large and you can pretty much go a whole game without shooting at anybody if you're playing a medic if we're being honest because people are dead all around you and you just throw smokes and, and revive so are there any more pros uh i guess it looks cool i don't know I don't know. I guess it's good for atmosphere because there's so many people who are... I don't know. Are there any pros other than grinding tier 1 badges and tier 1 guns, specifically in this game? But could there be any pros for it in the next game? I don't think so. It, another thing I almost forgot because I, I just get on the mic and start rambling. The maps... <laughs> the map sizes. Like, they build it for 128 and then they don't shrink it down or they did you know shrink it down to 64 but you already in you already fundamentally designed the map for 128 and you didn't give us a different version of the map for 64 you just made it out of bounds over here and the out of bounds line is now it's like it's the same map in the same design 
you know, theory or flaws that was in it from the 128. So it's like, yeah, you can make things out of bounds and make this point out of bounds and, yeah, shrink the map. But you already de had designed it in the first place with 128 in your head. So it's not going to play that good on 64 because you didn't design it with 64 in your mind. Unless you completely give you two separate design versions of the same map, which I, I don't want that. I think that's ridiculous. Just do 64. Just do 64. And if you want, if you want a big game mode like a 50 versus 50, I think 50 versus 50 makes way more sense, uh, in my opinion, because it amps it up just enough not to make it ridiculous. I think, which we don't know. You know, all we have is 64, and then it jumped to 128. You know, 50 versus 50, maybe that could work in the next game. 128 shouldn't be in the next game, in my opinion. But that's just that's just my opinion, though. What, what do I matter? But who cares, Gavin? Why, 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 why would anybody care what you think, huh? Why would anybody care? But I care what you guys think, and I think Dice and EA, the decision makers over there, also care what you guys think. And uh, you know, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. It's gonna be a shorter video because I just wanted to get on the mic and just kind of, you know, I think I, I like doing videos like this. I like these topic type videos where we get on the mic five, six, seven, eight. You know. 25 no i wouldn't talk for 25 minutes jesus i like it i like it though tell me what tell, tell me what you guys think down below in the comment section should they keep 128 in the next game do they shrink it down a little bit to maybe 50 versus 50 or do they scrap all that bullshit completely and just make it you know uh 28 30 or wait no yeah 28 30 or yeah 28 32 64 whatever whatever the player count numbers would be 10 v 10 you know whatever should they just cap it out at 64 or do we get a big a big mode, a big grindy mode in the next game. And yeah, so that's it. All the links are down in the description down below. Twitter, Discord, all that stuff. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. It's been Just Gab, guys. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. See ya. Bye, guys.